I'm connected to action. So if I want to make something, yeah, this will be made fast. Everything's go. Sean is an extremely eminent artist, principally known as a painter. But over the last 15 years, he has been making sculpture. Yorkshire Sculpture Park really gave him the opportunity to, to realise his vision. He's extremely ambitious. So basically what I'm doing with these stone ones is making a situation where nature, and I like to say God, will redraw this every day. It's, it's really just a box that's waiting to be miracleized. We have a special relationship with a project manager who lives locally but operates on a global scale and Paul was very aware of what Sean wanted to try and achieve in terms of sculpture in the landscape. He also knew of this extraordinary Yorkshire sandstone at Crossland Hill Quarry which is just outside Huddersfield beautiful seams of stone and this piece has taken over 1,300 tonnes to make my teenage years, my childhood, has a very um, big effect on me. It's a well of information. I was working in the back of Woolworths, stacking uh, cardboard boxes mm. in a baling machine. It's a beautiful thing, because mm. you crank it down, then you wire it, turn the wire and lock it, and then when you open it, this beautiful thing falls out. Yeah. <laughs> And ready made <laughs> it's a sculpture yeah. the other job that i had was in the north of london this was a brutal job working in a cardboard factory we stacked this truck that was an empty space it was an empty box and we stacked it with cardboard boxes in 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 rows which are just like my sculptures and you watched a negative space being filled yeah turned into a kind mm -hmm. of positive space and yeah. it, always the end of it looked like a painting of course yeah i painted pictures like this you know the wall of light paintings yeah. that i made and paintings that have insects i'm very fascinated with um blocking in doorways so here <clears throat> yeah so you can see it when you're inside I love the relationship to the building. Yeah, it's great. It's going to be very reactive when you get some weather. We don't often show paintings at Yorkshire Sculpture Park, but in the case of Sean Scully, it's a really vital part of his practice. And it was important to have the paintings to show this relationship between the sculpture and the paintings and, of course, landscape. The big, big difference between me and, let's say, minimalists is that I'm very interested in the intrinsic power of material, its beauty and its meaning, and how it can emote. I like to make things that make people, in a certain sense, dumbstruck. We're so articulate now that we talk everything to death, that we take all the, the mystery and power out of things because we explain them away. And I like, with my sculpture in particular, to, to make something that makes people shut up. I'm very interested in this sense of integrity that runs through this thing. This thing is true all the way, like Brighton Rock. When I was a kid, I used to get a stick of rock candy and you'd bite it off, it would say Brighton. Yeah. And then I'd keep biting it off and it would always say Brighton. And that fascinated me. His enthusiasm seems to be boundless. His energy is extraordinary. And actually, I think 
that making these very important works in the landscape has given a new lease of life to his practice overall. I love the sense of permanence in this. To me, it looks like Finnegan's Wake, mm -hmm. three-dimensional, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, what is that doorway? What is that window? And what's behind it? Well, you'll never know, and you don't need to.